it is about 4.30 in the morning right now and we have just arrived. You guys are gonna have no trouble understanding why we drove a couple hundred kilometers and woke up at 4.30 in the morning when I show you. Hey guys, and welcome to day three, I believe, of our road trip adventure. In the last episode, we got to see some of the most realistic and almost terrifying stone statues I have ever seen. And today, well today, we're doing a bit of nature, but it's gonna start with a little bit of a road trip. That doesn't really make much sense considering this, this whole thing is a road trip. I, I, we'll, we're gonna drive. Let's go drive. All right, did the water boil? Better boil. So in case you're not completely caught up on the storyline, me and Victor here are on a little bit of a road trip. And needless to say, it's been pretty crazy so far. Today the road trip continues, but not, not without coffee first. And actually, before we do that, I, I did bring my own coffee grounds as well. As I do the coffee, allow me to explain. Today's goal is to find something that cannot be easily found. One of those things we might be out of season for, so I'm not gonna put my hopes too high in that one. We might get lucky, but the other one, the other one is a location. A location that we think we found. It's not even a famous location or anything like that. It's just a location that we both really want to go to. We just spent half an hour in the car double checking that we're sure we know where it is, but the information available out there is very vague because it's not a main or famous spot. I mean, coffee, coffee, let me yes. just make coffee. I don't know about your country. Uh, they, I don't think they have them in mind. In Japan, they have these little one cup pour over coffees. It's just got the coffee grounds right inside there. You just, just do it just like drip coffee. Just pour that right in there. Thank you, sir. Thanks for bringing the stove, by the way. Oh, no problem. Cheers for that. Do you do cheers? I, 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 well, we do, do cheers. cheers with coffee now. So. Where we are right now, there's absolutely no cell reception. We're just gonna kick back, have some coffee, and then get back on the road, so. All right, I think we have pretty much everything we've ever owned charging here right now. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the road. The driving has actually been a lot of fun. We get to see so many things. I think among my favorite are beautiful, beautiful rice fields. Like we got to drive through, and there was like literally no reason to even drive through them either. There were just yeah. nice rice fields. Gorgeous countryside sunsets. Oh, that was oh. nice. Okay, all right. I'm sure we're gonna have plenty of that today as well. But before night hits, we, we gotta get a little closer to our destination. the winding mountain roads of Japan. You know, one of the goals for this entire thing is to create this sense of adventure within ourselves. And that's one of the reasons why I'm really excited about today's journey, because we don't even know if we, the only documentation that we've been able to find on the place that we're going, it was unclear at best, so. So we have turned onto the road and we're heading up a mountain now. We're gonna kind of scout out the area where we're going right now. And then we're gonna go on a little mini side adventure. Oh my lord, jeez. We are climbing. All right, we have arrived. We, we found it, by the way. We found it. I kind of want to hold off until morning when you have that like morning foggy atmosphere. But for now, check this out. Waterfalls, waterfalls never disappoint. And there seems to be somewhat of a, a hiking trail here. So I've left Victor behind at the moment and I'm very much braving this.
<sighs> Lots of spider webs. But this just seems to keep going for a while and I've, I've really left Victor far behind down there so I'm gonna head back. All right, so it's really dark, but we've come out here in the hopes of seeing fireflies. I really want to see some fireflies. What do you think, Victor? You think we're, we're gonna get fireflies? We better after this. <laughs> I know. Oh boy, it was a drive. Wow, this is this is like dark. Can we like illuminate this tunnel at all? Mine's on too. Wow. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capture it, but guys, we got fireflies. The fireflies were beautiful. It is about 4.30 in the morning right now and we have just arrived at our long sought after destination. You guys are gonna have no trouble understanding why we drove a couple hundred kilometers and woke up at 4.30 in the morning when I show you this right here. I wanted to bring you out to this place today because this is one of those places that just screams with the Japanese aesthetic. And it's also one of those places that isn't very easily accessible even if you do live in Japan. But in the case that you are in Japan or coming to Japan, I'm gonna do you a solid and leave the location in the description box because finding this place was admittedly a little bit of a challenge. Oh yeah. And I would be remiss to come all the way out here and not climb the stairs, so are, are, are you up for it? After you. It's, it's a lot of stairs, but no half measures. So if you're wondering why Victor is so opposed to stairs, it's because just like two days ago, we did one of Japan's deepest train stations, Doai Station. And I don't think we talked about it in the video, but we actually went up and down those stairs. Twice. Twice. <laughs> well, that's creepy. The uh, corpse of a crab. What? I get the river is down there, so. See, this is what happens when you climb stairs. <laughs> Steps aren't that <laughs> you're forgetting that I did a 20 kilometer hike the day before. That's not my problem. Thank you for not to pace yourself, man. You know what? Let me just do the rest of these stairs in silence. It's uh, moderately anticlimactic. <laughs> Yeah, but in all fairness, I mean, this place was all about the view from down there. Yeah, it, 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 and it was good too. <laughs> Remember that random hiking trail from yesterday? Yeah. I think it actually does go from the waterfalls to here. Oh, wow. Victor, I found one of my favorite parts of this whole shrine. Yeah? It's the pigeons. Like, no, no fancy dragons, nothing like that, no. I got pigeons up there. What's up, pigeon? <sighs> well, all stair shenanigans aside, that was a genuinely enjoyable shrine. Yes, it was. <laughs> Would you guys believe that it is like 9.30 in the morning and we somehow Spent, is that five hours? That's four hours, oh wait, no, yeah, five hours. How do we spend five hours here? <laughs> Photography. And the rain has really started 
to come down. And you know, come to think about it, I think we drove something like three, four hundred kilometers just to get okay, to this. Yeah. <laughs> Would you ever do that? Would you drive like three, four hundred kilometers just to come out and see a shrine like this and get some pictures? I thought it was worth it. I think so too. Let me know down below. Also, also, it mean the world to me if you would give that like button some love. It is time for us to hit the road again off to our next adventure, but I guess that'll be the next video. You guys know I'll be hanging out with you down in the comments. I will see you again real soon.